In this video, I'll show you how to connect your phone, could be an iPhone or Android smartphone to your HP Envi 6555E or many different models that are looking like this one, as long as they have a screen on the left side over here. So let's get started right away. First thing, we need to connect this printer to your Wi-Fi network. Let me show you how this is done. All right, so it's quite easy. You have to go on the menu click menu, go down and you're going to see settings, click on settings. Sometimes you have to touch multiple times the screen because it does not register. But once you're here, click network, Wi-Fi, make sure Wi-Fi is turned on. So here it's blue and then select Wi-Fi setup. Okay. There's multiple options. Click on the start beside Wi-Fi setup. Wait, it will search for all networks around this printer. They may be a few. Yours should be in the list that is showing right here. If not, just scroll down until you find yours. Click on it. Click over here. And type the password of your Wi-Fi network. Then you're going to press OK and submit. Press OK. And now it's trying to connect to your Wi-Fi. If it's working, well, you're going to get a green check mark. And this is it. Your printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. So on your phone, you're going to open the Google Play Store or if you're on an iPhone, the App Store. And you need to download the HP Smart App. It's made by HP Inc. Go ahead and open the app when it's downloaded. The home screen of this app should look like this one. On the top, you should have an add button to add a new printer. Go ahead and click on it. If you don't see it, like in my case, click on the plus sign on the top right corner. Then click on already connected to network. In this list, you should see your HP printer. Mine is over here, NV and Vi 6500E series printer. Click on it. Now you're going to see your printer has been added on the main screen over here and it says finish setup. You do not have to click on finish setup. I did it in the past with other printers and all they do is they try to sell you their HP plus or HP instant ink service. It's not very useful. So therefore I do not recommend you to click finish setup. You can use the app right away. Let me show you how it works. So if you want to print, you need to go down, down these um, tiles and you see print photo if it's a photo um, that is located on your phone or you also have print documents. I'll select print documents. Now you just have to select the file you would like to print. So I'll go here. Let's say I want this one. Okay, this is a PDF document. I'll click on print preview, lower left side button here and then click on the gray arrow. Make sure these settings are perfectly okay with you. So number of copies. Oh yeah, on the top here, make sure your printer is selected. If you want on one side or both sides of the paper to be printed, do you want it in black and white or in color? And the rest, just leave it the way it is. Press the print button and just wait. You can also extend this tray since uh, it will come out here. Perfect. So it got printed in around 15 seconds. Now let me show you how to use the scanner of this printer that is located right over here. This printer has two different scanners. Well, a normal flatbed scanner over here, if I open this lid, okay, pretty regular. And also a automatic document feeder on the top if you have multiple pages. Not all models have this additional scanner. So let me show you how they work. The top document feeder, I'll show you quickly. You need to open this flap over here. And let's say you have multiple pages. Okay, here I only have two, but put them together, align them, glide them with the face upside, with the face pointing up and with the top part of your paper towards the left side, simply glide them. 
you're gonna hear a small beep that it has detected the paper and this is it. If you want to use the normal scanner, I will call it normal, but it's just a scanner glass, take your paper, let me take something else here, this, put it facing down with the top part of your page towards the left side and you'll need to align this corner of your paper with this corner of the printer. So glide them until both are touching. Then close the lid and no matter which scanner you have um, input your paper, let me show you how to scan on your phone. So I'll go back on the main menu of this app. Okay, go down and now select printer scan. Over here, you have source on the lower left side. Click on it and make sure that the name of your printer is the one selected. Then on the top, click here and you have page size, input uh, the size of your paper. So mine is just letter size. I'll leave it uh, the default way. And then source, if you click here, if you have put um, your paper as I did over here on the scanner glass, select scanner glass. And if you're using the top document feeder, select document feeder. Go back, then you have the resolution. If you're scanning uh, text, you can leave it to 200 dpi. This is plenty enough for text files with some images. But if you're scanning pictures, select 300 dpi. It will give you a better result with more details. Go back and then select if you want in black and white or color. Finally, press the scan button and wait. Usually it takes around 13 seconds to get your scan on your phone. So let's just wait. It should come out in just a few seconds. If you have selected 300 dpi, it will take just a few more seconds. Okay, perfect. The scan has been done and it should appear right here. Next, you're gonna get a square around something in your scan. I don't know why they do this. You need to press full so the full image is saved. Next, I mean, press the next button here. And you have a few different options. Well, on the top you have add, which means that if you want to add multiple pages in your PDF file, so everything is combined in one file, go ahead, put the next pages or page in the scanner, press the plus button and they'll be added. You can have many here. You have rotate if the rotation is not what you want, text extract if you want to extract some text, and also scribble if you want to make some annotation, some drawings on your scan. At the end, you have a few options. You have print preview. Whoops, sorry, let me go back. You have print preview, which is simply um, a way to print whatever you have scanned. You have shared. If you click here, you'll be able to give the scan a name, a different name than the default one. That doesn't mean anything and then select which file type you would want this scan to be. So if it's a text file, select basic PDF. If it's a picture, select JPEG. And finally, you have language. These things don't touch them. Just press share and you'll be able to share it on social media, WhatsApp, Messenger, emails, stuff of this nature. If you go back, you also have save, which will save this scan on your smartphone memory for future use. So you have all these three options here and yeah, once you're done, this is it. You can go back on the main screen and you're good to go. So thanks for watching. I hope my tutorial was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe. If you have a bit more time, leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you want some uh, ink or some paper for your printer, I'll put Amazon links to compatible ink cartridges. You also um, encourage my channel every time you purchase through my links. And I'll see you in the next video.